Hi everyone, today we will talk about lead code problem 503, which is next greater element 2. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my solutions. Um, for the for solutions, uh, I mainly focus on the thought process to reach the solution rather than the actual code itself. And this particular problem is very interesting. It needs stack to reach to an optimal solution uh, so today we'll talk about how to figure out that stack is required so the question gives us an example of 1 comma 2 comma 1 and we want to find the next greatest element of for all these three elements so for one, for one, we have the next greatest element in this order is two. Also remember that this, uh, the question says that this is a cyclic array. So after this, we go back to the element this. So for one, two is the maximum element. For two, even if we go back the entire cycle, there is nothing greater than two. So in this case, we say, minus one there's no greater element and for one then we go back again at one and then two two is the next greater element so we return two minus one and two so uh to first we'll talk about the brute force solution the brute force solution is uh let's see like to create a circular array we just add the the entire array after it so this will create kind of a circular array so we we from here one we go to two then one then one to two and one so to the brute force solution is for each element go through all the n elements after it so for each element go through all the n elements and uh, we will figure out the next greatest element. So for one, we go through all, and so two, after two, we figure out that two is the greatest. Then for two, we go through all until two. Uh, we figure out that there is no greater element than this. For one, we do the same thing. So f the time for brute force, the time complexity is, O of for each n we do n so n into n which is O of n squared now we know that we can so for uh, reduce the time complexity it can either be n log n or n there is it does not give us any indication that it's a binary uh, binary search problem so that 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 means we cannot get rid of half of the problem at each iteration. So for each n, if we can get rid of half of the problem, it becomes an n log n problem, but we cannot do that here. So the only solution will be something around the complexity O of n. So how do we figure out that it is a stack? So stack has a very unique property. So the kind of questions where you for this particular question, you want to figure out an increase in when you when you traverse the array from left to right. So this is an increase. That means we have found the solution for this and any decreasing array preceding it. So for stack, I look at problems where we are facing a consecutive decrease and then a consecutive increase by this I mean let's take an, another example which is a bigger example 5 1 now we here we see an increase so we have find the solution here we see a decrease, 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 and then an increase. Then we have found the solution. So we are looking for 
the increases that is when we switch from descending to ascending so these are the indications that we are looking for whenever you see such thing is such uh, such a requirement in a problem you can say that it's a problem that requires stack most probably so in this case let's take an example uh, let's try to solve this particular problem using stack how stack helps us in this case so we put one on the stack we have fun and this is our return answer this is our answer array we have found one uh, one on the stack then we traverse to four we see that it is increasing we remove four, one and add four and because we have removed one we add four as its next greatest element then we go to three we cannot do that for three so three is descending for all the descending we keep on adding then we see that then we process five for five we see that okay five is greater than two so five is the answer for two we remove two we see that okay five is also greater than three so we remove three as well so put five here four, five is greater than four we remove four as well put five here and then we push five onto the stack then comes one and one is again decreasing so we put one on the stack as well we go back because it's circular we'll traverse the array twice we go back we don't when we are traversing the array the second time we don't add elements so we won't add one we see that four is greater than one we remove one add four for one's answer and then we traverse to three two and five and we have completed the uh, traversal of the array twice that is there is nothing for five so we put it as minus one so this is our answer and that's how we determine that stack is required ascending and descending stack is required the implementation is pretty simple we initialize the return array to be returned which is nums dot length we fill it with minus ones um, because if something is we don't find the greater element it has to be minus one uh, we initialize the stack we loop through the array twice so we we um you go from x to x is less than two into nums dot length and x plus plus we we have to add all of these so first, let's do if x is less than nums dot length because we only want to add the elements to the stack if they are uh, if if we encounter them in the first pass. So it's st dot push and. Uh, the point to note here is that we put indexes on the stacks rather than um, the the numbers itself because we can if we have the indexes we can set the return value on that index and also get the actual value on that index from nums so it's so keeping index serves both purposes so now we what we do is so suppose we have a bunch of suppose we are going on that decreasing round 
So we have already have a bunch of elements on the stack. So we check if the stack is empty. If it is not empty, then we want to pop out of pop um, things out of stack only if we have we are going from descending to ascending. So from descending to ascending, we have st dot peak. So this is the top element, and it is less than. So that means we are going we are increasing it is it should be less than nums of x mod of nums dot length because in the second limit second run we will still encounter the same elements but we want to do the mod uh, this just simplifies uh, two passes so whenever we encounter this that we have we have gone from a descending to ascending pattern we pop the element st dot pop because we have found the maximum for that particular we do this we do nums dot nums for this particular for that index on the top of the stack we put nums of x mod of nums dot l e n g t h yeah so that that is that should be it let's see uh so the only difficult part here is figuring out the stack and how to use it it says cannot find symbol red okay oh my bad What did I do here? Wait. Oh. It's nums. Run. Oh. Return. Right. Run. the right answer we submit let's see talk about the time complexity for this algorithm uh, so the time complexity of this particular loop here you see is o of 2n which is o of n and for this uh, we will go through this loop that the amount of time we push to uh, push on the stack we'll so we only will only push n elements onto the stack where n is the length of the array so n pushes and n pops so it is another o of n not equal to this should be plus so it's the total time complexity for this algorithm is good approximation is o of n yep so this is this is the solution. If you like the explanation, the thought process of how I reached the, the that the solution requires a stack, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you and bye.